Hi, I'm John, and I'm leading development on Scramble Battle of Britain, a tactical dogfighting game that takes place over the English Channel. Today, I'll be your flight instructor, and I will fly you through the different features and components of our game. So, welcome to flight school. This is lesson three, scramble physics, and today I'm going to talk about our aerodynamics and our flight model. So my background is actually in aerospace simulation, and I've been doing it for 15 years. So when I first joined the scramble team, they brought me on to make the airplanes fly like airplanes. And it is, this has become a sort of real novel aspect of scramble, because we're the only turn-based uh, dogfighting game that I'm well aware of that uh, instead of breaking our turns into discrete maneuvers like a half roll or a quarter loop or something we allow you to play with a full range of analog flight physics because uh, all of our airplanes and bullets and damage and everything is fully simulated. The Spitfires and the Hurricanes and the 109s that you fly with in Scramble might not match exactly the specifications that you're going to find in history books, but our goal is to capture the essence of the different airplanes and how their flight capabilities compare to each other. I will try to help you understand uh, how we replicate or how we, how we create and generate the differences in flight behavior from one plane to the next. So we'll start with the basic forces that act on every airplane. Um, the first one we'll talk about is thrust, which generally comes out the front of the airplane uh, and is supplied by your engines. The second one is drag, which is a force that slows you down, um, and it's the force of the air opposing your plane as it flies directly through it. Next you have lift, which is provided mostly by your wings and it's provided by a pressure differential that is above and below the wing. Below the wing you have higher pressure, above the wing you have lower pressure, and the difference between those two provides lift, which moves your plane upwards. And then we have gravity. And the last force that you don't normally talk about that much when you're talking about airplane physics is side force. It's kind of like lift, it's kind of like drag. Um, it's just relative, it's the force that acts to the side of your aircraft so I'll label these for us, and I'm going to label them as thrust, gravity, side force, lift, drag. 